Alright, today we're going to be going over how to control an LCD display with a Raspberry Pi. So before we actually use the LCD display, what we're going to actually have to do is initialize it. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to function set the actual LCD display. The way we're actually going to do this is we're going to send RS to low and RW to low. You can actually see this little data sheet right here if this is a little more clear to you. Um, it makes it a little easier, but I actually have a little snippet of code over here uh, of what we're actually going to do. In this example that I have up here, we're setting it to 4-bit mode. We're also setting it to 2 lines and 5 by 8 dots. So we're going to send 0011 three times, and every time that we send this, we're actually going to have to pulse the E pin when we're actually uh, sending these binary signals to the LCD display. And once we actually send this 0011 three times, we're going to have to set it to 4-bit mode in this example. And that's going to be 0010. And then finally, we're going to set it to 4-bit mode again by doing 0010. 1, 0, 0, 0. and that's actually going to give us our four bit two lines and five by eight dots then all we're going to be doing is actually turning the display off it's going to be zero 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 one zero 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 and then we're going to clear the display and that's just going to be um, zero 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 one and then we're going to put it into entry mode set and that's actually going to be this right here and we're going to turn the display on, cursor off, and uh, blink off. And that's all you have to do to actually initialize it. Now, here's the difference in between initializing it for 4-bit and 8-bit mode. Uh, the big difference in between 4-bit and 8-bit, uh, you're going to be using 4-bits instead of 8-bits. So to actually have an, send an 8-bit signal, which you're going to have to do anyway for communicating through binary for ASCII, is... you. In 4-bit mode, you're going to have to start with the first four bits of the binary signal for whatever ASCII letter you're going to be using. And then you're uh, going to pulse the E pin. And after that, you're going to have to put the last four of the binary ASCII symbol for whatever letter you're trying to initialize. But you can see we start out the same by actually pulsing 0011 for the 8-bit and also the 4-bit mode. And this is uh, where it actually changes after you pulse it three times with that binary signal. And this is actually going to be setting it up instead of for 4-bits, you know, we're going to be setting it for 8-bits and everything else is actually going to be the same. So the only difference with this is, is we're going to be doing 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So in, in this case, the only thing that's actually different is going to be uh, the fourth binary number is going to be a 1 instead of a 0 for 8-bit mode. And then after that, everything's going to be the same. And then it's going to be either 8-bit or 4-bit, depending on uh, what way you initialize the LCD display. Now, I ended up making this little spreadsheet here because I felt that this was easier to actually see how I have this wired up my LCD uh, display to the actual Raspberry Pi and you can actually see I have the GPIO pins right here and what it actually correlates with on the LCD display and I also have the pins uh, so whatever you you actually prefer um, but the for instance like GPIO 16 is uh, hooked up to RS GPIO 12 is hooked up to RW, and GPIO 1 is hooked up to E, and so on. One important thing to know for the LED uh, voltage, you're going to actually want to use the 3 volt pin instead of the 5 volt, because over time uh, the 5 volts will end up hurting your LC or LEDs inside of your LCD display. So that's the one thing to keep in mind. Some other things that you're going to actually want to keep in mind is that the RS pin is what we're going to be toggling. And if you want to actually write data, uh, say for instance we're going to want to display a letter uh, and we're going to want to output the binary signal to actually have a display on the LCD, you're going to just set RS to 1. And if you're actually going to try to initialize the LCD display and do some stuff with setting it up properly, you're going to actually set it to zero. RW, you're actually, for our purposes today, are not going to actually use this, but uh, that is a option if uh, you wanted to play around with that as well. And this is actually where we're going to be placing all of our binary signals to either initialize it or to output a ASCII 
binary signal so we can display a letter and uh, this is the e-pen that uh, we're gonna have to pulse whenever we actually have our binary signal outputted to db7 to db0 and another thing the contrast which is actually on b0 I actually have this just hooked straight up to ground. You can hook a potentiometer up to it if you want to, if you actually want to alter it, but I just wanted the full contrast, so I just hooked it directly to ground. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now the actual LCD display that we're using today is going to be the TC1602A-21T. From what I can see, a lot of LCDs are pretty similar, so this will probably work on other LCDs displays as well but that this is the actual one that I'm using all the links are going to be in the description for all the parts that I actually use now you can actually see the how I have this wired up here and this is not very easy to see so I feel like um, it, this will definitely help you wire yours up the same that I do if you're looking to follow along with um, my tutorial we are using a Raspberry Pi 4 just to give you guys a heads up today. Now the timing diagram here, the only real thing that you have to keep in mind is whenever you actually pulse the e-pen, you just want to make sure that your valid data is uh, being pulsed to the LCD whenever you actually pulse the e-pen. And another thing is that you want your RS and RW to actually be set up prior to you actually putting in your data and also pulsing the e-pen. Now this is the Raspberry Pi pinout. This will probably be helpful for you to actually use that spreadsheet so you can actually wire it up appropriately on your Raspberry Pi if you're following along. And here's some of the ASCII binary that I actually got from the LCD data sheet. And if you're going to be using this in 4-bit mode, for instance, um, if we want to actually put a 1, you're going to just do 0011, and then you're going to do a 0001. You can also find this on like Wikipedia and um, there, there's a lot of different ways that you can actually find the binary that you need to output to actually make a letter display on the LCD. I'm also going to end up showing you how you can actually convert it inside of Python so you can actually type down whatever letters what you want to use and it will actually convert it to binary automatically and output that to the LCD display. So let's hop over into VS Code and start outputting some stuff to the LCD. All right, now that we're inside of VS Code here, you can see we're just gonna be importing rpi.gpio as gpio, and we're also gonna have to import sleep. We're gonna be setting rs to gpio pin 16, rw to 12, e to one, and since we're actually going to be doing our first demonstration in 4-bit mode, all we're going to actually need is DB4 through DB7. And we're going to be setting them 23, 18, 15, and 14. Then we're going to be doing GPIO.setMode, GPIO.BCM, because we're going to be using the GPIO numbers, not the pin numbers, of the actual GPIO pins. And we're going to be setting RS, RW, E, and DB4 through DB7 to GPIO.out. And then we're going to have a pulse of the e-pin, so we can actually call that function whenever we need it. Then we're going to make another function called set nibble, and what that's actually going to have is four of the eight bits that we're going to be needing to output on the GPIO pins, DB4 through DB7. And afterwards, it's going to pulse the e-pin. We also have another function called send byte, and what this is actually going to do is actually separate this into the first four bits and the last four bits. And this is a form of slicing notation, so we can actually output that on DB4 through DB7 twice. And the first thing that uh, we're going to have to do after we actually set up those functions is our initialize LCD. We're going to have to do our function set. We're going to repeat that several times. That would be the 0011, and then we're going to output 0010. And then we're actually going to select what type of function and also the lines and the dots that we actually need. And that's going to be the 00101000. We're going to turn the display off with the next byte. Then we're going to have to clear the display with the next uh, byte. And entry mode set in the next byte. And display on cursor off and blink off with the next byte. You can see we just ran it. And now it's ready to use after we initialized it. Now this is a little Python script that I ended up making, so I can actually just put a ASCII letter inside of this script and then it'll output the binary. And this will be important whenever we do this automatically later on in some of the other scripts that we did. Instead of actually outputting it in binary, we can just put the letters we want to use, separate it, and then actually have it converted automatically. Now you can see right here I just 
copied and pasted everything from the 4-bit initialized sequence for the actual setup because we're going to be using the same pins. Now when you're actually going to be writing ASCII letters to the actual LCD, what you want to do is you want to set RS to high instead of RS to low like we did inside of the 4-bit initialized sequence. RW is just going to stay the same. And now what you can actually do is just output on DB7 through DB4 the first four bits of the ASCII letter that you actually want to use and then you actually want to pulse the E pin. You're going to see me do that here. And you're going to want to sleep as well just for 0 .005 seconds. And then you can actually put the last four bits of the ASCII number that you're wanting to output onto the display. My little ASCII script ended up giving me the wrong binary numbers for A, so I ended up having to mess around with this a little bit to get it to work properly. And I actually got this from the data sheet for the LCD, and I'll just pull that down here. And you can see the first four bits of A is going to be 0100, then the last four is going to be 0001. So what you're actually going to do, and you can actually see this inside of my code, is DB7 low, DB6 high, and uh, so on for the first four bits, which is going to be 0100. Pulse the E pin, and then you're going to have to do the last four, which is going to be 0010. And then you're going to pulse the E pin again, and it will output, in this case, B, because I ended up for some reason switching that. But you can see that actually correlates with the chart that's on the data sheet. I'll leave that in the description if you want to take a look at it yourself. Now for the 8 bits, we're actually going to need the DB0 to DB3. And we're just going to be setting up those GPIO pins. And I just copied that, so this will make it a little quicker. So we're just going to need to output to the last four pins as well. I find 8-bit a little easier, just for the fact that you can output it once, pulse the E pin, and then you can have uh, the result that you want. The big difference in between the 4-bit initialization and the 8-bit initialization is you're going to have to do 0011000. And you can see whenever I run this, it will just clear the display and uh, initialize it for 8-bit. And there it is. Just cleared the display and initialized it for 8-bit. And all this code is going to be in the description. Um, I did have some trouble getting this uh, to work sometimes. So if you got a, any improvements, let me know. You can see right there. I have no idea why it ended up going in the middle of the screen, but yeah, it, was a, it seemed to be a little finicky. I did get it working working well in some of my later scripts, but um, you can see right there, it just converts the letter to binary and then actually outputs it to send to LCD with the binary value there. And once it gets that, it will actually output that on the GPIO pins. And this little script right here, 8-bit LCD02, actually initializes every time that I run it. And you can also see that for char and, and then whatever you actually want to type, and then it'll actually set a letter to LCD. And then it'll convert each letter into its binar binary counterpart, and then I'll put that to the GPIO pins. And it'll I'll do that automatically. And you can see this last script right here, you can actually chain these together. There's definitely a better way to do this, but I just made like uh, a little animation right here, and this is just an example of some of the stuff that you can do. Well, thanks for watching my video. All the code will be in the description below, and thanks for watching. Peace.